Welcome to Tech Brothers. In this video, I'm going to show you how to clone a, a virtual machine using Hyper-V. Uh, it's really not uh, an option that you can clone a virtual machine uh, just like you can do it in um, a workstation VM. Um, but uh, in Hyper-V, you can use uh, export and import wizard to clone a machine. That's what I'm going to show you. So uh, open up the Hyper-V manager. Here's I have one machine already built. Um, I can right click and turn this machine off and then run the um, import export wizard but uh, it'll go just a little faster um, but I'm, I'm going to keep it running and uh, you can uh, do it either right click on this machine and um, export the machine or you can do it from the settings right here. So we'll go ahead and right click on this machine and click on export give the location where you wanted to save this machine so I'll go ahead and use desktop and click on export and it's gonna take some time uh, I'll pause the video once the export is done uh, then I'll come back to the video but just to see the status of export you can see it right here if you scroll uh, or if you maximize your uh, Hyper-V manager it'll show you right there um, export right now is exporting 24 percent once it's 100 percent then I'll come back to the video and show you how to import that import that machine if you look at the folder right here let's uh, look into this it has snapshot it has hard drive uh, virtual hard drives and if you click on virtual machines uh, uh, that's the virtual machine so what we're gonna do is use this folder to import that uh, 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 machine that we exported so we're gonna right click and or you can do it with the uh, right right click or you can use these settings so click on import machine click on next and give the folder where the virtual machine is right here is our virtual machine so you can just go ahead and actually give the te desktop it'll it'll get it from there so click next the name of the virtual machine you can rename it later uh, I don't um, find any option that you can rename it now so we'll rename it later click next here um, this is very important um, make sure you always use the copy of the virtual machine create new unique ID if you don't do that you will run into a lot of issues uh, there will be a lot of errors that you need to um, resolve one by one so might as well click on the third option and have a new unique ID of this virtual machine so click next if you wanted to um, store your new virtual machine to a different location I'll go ahead and do that and I'll go ahead and use the this part right here and I'll use my second machine and I'll use the same folder for the checkpoints and smart paging folder so you click next and the hard disk that's just gonna um, store um, I'll use the same folder location to save the hard drive for this new machine so you click next this is the summary of your new machine that's going to be click finish this is going to take some time to import uh, if I run into any error any issue I'll share with you and also the resolution uh, but I'm going to go ahead and uh, pause the video as soon as the import wizard is completed successfully I'll uh, resume the video that uh, uh, the import wizard is completed successfully and the machine state right now is saved so we're gonna go ahead and click on this machine uh, and rename this so this is going to be my virtual machine 2 once that's done we're gonna go ahead and connect so we're gonna go ahead and turn on this machine I'll 
I'm going to go ahead and connect. And as you can see, this is my second machine. Uh, it's exactly the clone of the first machine. So I'm going to go ahead and see if everything is working right. Yep. As you can see, everything is working right. Tech Brothers VM02 um, on, on the uh, Hyper-V uh, server, Dynamics AX dev. So this is it for uh, cloning the uh, mach uh, virtual machine using Hyper-V Manager. Uh, export the machine. It takes a while to export it. And same with importing the machine. When you import the machine, it takes a while.